Hi there, it's Sam from Poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, except I have no idea what it's going to turn out like. So, we're all in the new catalogue right now, which means I can show you the inside. Hopefully you've got your copies now. If you haven't, let me know. Um, I do have more copies. I know there was an issue with the ones going over to Europe, uh, mainland Europe, I should say. Shout if you haven't got yours. Okay, so this section here, here's the map. Now, forever ago, before I joined Stampin' Up, I used to make cards and I used to use Doll's House tools um, on my cards as elements. So things like, I don't know, garden implements, and spanners and oh, screwdrivers and all sorts of things. I used to put those on as elements and I spotted these ones straight away. Now, what might not be completely clear to you is that within the paper pack, there are some die cut pieces and you should have heard me at our team event the other week. So lovely Sally Shaw, Sally Stampers is on my team and we were chatting about the new catalogue and everything coming out and she said, have you seen He's the Man Suite? And I'm thinking, I don't know which one that is. There's lots of new suites. And she said, the one with the bits in it. And I was like, yes. And the pair of us were bouncing around with excitement at the bits in the back of the paper. So this is the paper pad. It's fabulous. It really is. And that was the one I used before. And yeah, it's so much fun. And you just kind of think, well, yeah, that's manly. There's ties, you know. And then you get to this bit and you realise that they are little pop-out die-cut paper pieces. So all of those, I think I've got some that have gone loose. Who knows where they are? Um, oh no, I've used them. <laughs> Who knows where they are? I've used them. Let me find a plain background I can put it over. So you can see that all of these are little die cut elements. And yeah, the pair of us were squeaking <laughs> because we were so excited. And you get two sheets of them. So I used um, the barbecue there and then you're flipping awesome. And I'm going to give this to my husband for Father's Day. We've just had his birthday. We've got Father's Day coming up in June um, because he loves a barbecue. And actually, he did say, can we have a barbecue on his birthday? But I took him out for lunch um, instead. And so barbecue didn't happen. But I just thought they were so cool. And yeah, he got it. But my husband also loves to camp. I Me, mean, not so much. I think I like my, my creature comforts a bit more than... Um, camping and you know I like chocolate on my pillow at night but I wanted to put together a card for you so I don't know what I'm doing at all I do know that I've got my basic card and then I've got some of the colours that are in the pack because I don't know what to make until I make it make it crushed curry no Cajun craze cr crushed curry can't speak Sahara sand and soft succulent and I'm kind of thinking maybe I will go with this as my background and then I think, yeah, with you I'm never lost. I'm going to do that one. Shall I put a tree with it? I don't know. Let me bring them back in so you can see. And if I move the bottom one, which I've not used, then we won't get confused. So I want to add two elements to it. So I've got that. It, we haven't got a camper van. Might get a camper van one day. I don't know. Um, I'm going to put a tree element on it and I think I might do, actually best dad in the world and then I can get the boys to give it to him for Father's Day. Look at me, I'm organised and it's only May and I might use this background, I think that's quite fun so yeah, okay. So there's no stamping or anything and there's, what does the suite include? Uh, paper, oh, metallic dots, haven't got them yet. My order hasn't arrived, well, not at the point in time of filming. Um, yeah, and stamps and dies, all fabulous. I'm not giving you measurements for my card because, um, although the world works in international A4, I know you guys in North America who are watching, you you work in a unique um, paper size. And I don't want to confuse everybody by giving out lots of information on card sizes so yeah just cut a piece of card stock in half shall I say that again cut a piece of card stock in half and score it in half that's your card base let me move these before I get in a right old mess 
put those back on my shelf and I've cut a paper base that is half a centimetre shorter and narrower than my folded piece of card so you can see I've got a, a border if you work in imperial quarter of an inch maybe eighth of an inch shorter and narrower that sort of size okay I'm going to take another piece of black and I want to but just put a fairly small panel on there so oh let me work out the measurements <laughs> I don't know um let me cut it down this way so one two three four I'm gonna make that four centimeters smaller and then one two three four There we go, so whatever, so this was half a centimetre shorter and narrower. What you need to do is make your border the same. And so when you come to do a panel on the front, whatever shorter measurement you go, you make them narrower, that narrower as well. So what have I ended up with? Oh, six and a half by 10 a lot. And then I'm gonna put a bit of this over it. So I'm gonna make that. And I've gone a further half centimetre, the same as this one. So I've got a half centimetre border, and this also has a half centimetre border. Okay, so let's stick it together. So this is card making made easy because those are all stamped. They're all done for you. Before I joined Stampin' Up, I had never picked up a rubber stamp in my life. Um, I did everything literally with paper punches or, as I mentioned, Doll's House. So we had this brilliant shop in North Wales where I lived at the time called Abacan Fabrics. And they were mostly fabrics, seconds, um, but they also had a section for dolls, where it's a doll's house section. And I used to, like I say, I used to go and buy all of the funny little bits, like um, garden tools and stuff like that. And I used to stick them on cards. And they sold like hotcakes, because I used to sell my finished um, stuff in those days. Let me try and get these off. There's one. So for me, Doing it like this is very much back to how I used to do it. Probably should not have taken the backing off before laying out my card. Oh well, I've done it now. With you, I'm never lost. Oh, well, that doesn't make sense with Dad, does it? Well, yeah, the boys are never lost with my husband around. And that on there. Oh! little bits because I haven't got my brass what are they called rustic metallic adhesive backed dots haven't got them yet so I'm going to use some more of these black dots which did carry over hooray and I might go small this time whoopsie throw everything around how cool are they no stamping, no die cutting, just regular cutting. Is it me or does that look a little bit skew if? Oh well. But yeah, they're great. Simple way to do it, but great way to work with, yeah, with small folk, small people who might want to come and help you in your craft room. Anyway, I really hope you like them. I'm really pleased with them. One from me, one from my children. Perfect. Sorted. <laughs> anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Don't forget to go and check it out. That's sweet. It's called He's the Man. Page 78. Yeah. Awesome. Take care, everybody. Bye.